In 2013, for the first time in 700 years, the world found itself with two popes. This extraordinary kind of duality at the heart of the Catholic Church between an arch-conservative who ultimately, for reasons that the play explores, felt unable to continue in his role, and a change candidate, a progressive, who wanted to change the church from the bottom up This is both a play that is so rich in characterization, in humanity, in humor, in two charismatic leaders outwitting one another and an extraordinary rivalry between two men that have headed the most significant institution on earth. They're given the job of, of running an institution with 1.4 billion followers and the pressure and the human aspect of this and how they cope with it and how they had their strengths and their weaknesses. And the pressure of this position brings out all the, the best and worst in both characters. It's also a, a chamber play that is about relationships and it's a quartet, four characters that go through all of the occurrences, trivialities and hilarious day-to-day -day moments that we see in our own lives and, you know, the kind of domestic settings that Anthony has drawn are both so familiar but also extraordinarily exhilaratingly strange to us as an audience. You know, we literally go from the interior of someone's bedroom into the heart of the Sistine Chapel. Is our security best maintained and our well-being most enhanced? Staying as we are, preserving the status quo, building up walls around the status quo, resisting change, or are we better off taking a risk? The play is not answering that question, it's, but it's pre presenting very robust arguments for both sides and then you make up your own mind.